my good friends, some of who have come long distance already. It is a great privilege to stand in front of you today. Because whenever I come to this hall, I'm reminded of the glorious history that the two Colossus, as was mentioned by Shivaji, a part to it. <coughs> Before I go into the actual text of my talk, I have to go back to Professor Raha's reference to the installation of the bust of Acharya and Jagadish Chandra Bose in December 2008. As he mentioned, I happen to be present. And it's a privilege because that happens to be my college as well. But there is an addition to it. Recently, I was there for a reunion of people or kids at that time who have left Cambridge 50 years ago. It's called a reunion dinner. So you all went there in that, that so-called yard or court where Jagadish Chandra is pencil under the cypress tree and Charles Darwin is sitting on a bench, literally, sculpted by Alan Smith, who was an undergraduate in the same college, 2005-2008. But if you let your imagination go a little bit, Darwin is having a very close watch on this great scientist, Acharya Jagadish Chandra Bose, as if he's a symbol of the evolution of human civilization itself, which is to some extent is very true. And the beauty they have captured in the sculpture and the bust that Professor Raha took with him reminds me that what can be done in the ambience and the effort is right. And what cannot be done if the ambience and the effort is not right. That's just a way of introduction. Or shall you say, a good story, I hope. Let me come to my text, what I have to say. In ancient India, education was of a very holistic nature. Classics, along with mathematics and astronomy, were staple components of the intellectual and education. Rabindranath Tagore's beautiful book, Bishop Richard, in the beginning, when as a boy he was taken to Kumayan Hills and Maharshi showed him the distance between stars and earth and the planets revolving around the sun and so on and so forth. It never ceases to amaze me that the very first essay the Gurudev wrote was not poetry, was not drama, but on science. And this is to do with the stars and the planets which was published in Tattavadini Patrika. At the time I referred to of ancient India, the Western world, Europe in particular, was hibernating in dark ages. There was no hint of civilization as you perceive commonly at that time. Over the years, however, especially in recent times, science drifted away from arts, and arts in some quarters either ignored or scared away from science. Consequently, the creative instinct of these two cultures got dampened, as Professor Raha was mentioning. I do believe firmly convinced that the mystery and romance of science provides a special kind of creative dimension to arts. And similarly, the beauty and romance of arts, poetry in particular, enriches the spirit of scientific temper. Special brand of temper which trespasses to the holy territory of actual discovery. The science and arts, in essence, are naturally complementary to each other. However, this void between the art and science is not new. 
the enormous implication of these two cultures were eloquently pointed out by Lord C. P. Snow on 7th of May 1959 in his historic Reed lecture delivered at the Senate House of Cambridge. Professor Dattagupta was alluding to that a few weeks ago in Bengal Club. This is the important point, ladies and gentlemen. Curiously enough, about 100 years ago, it was not so in India. Bengal in particular, with the very rich collage of Bengal Renaissance, science embraced arts with open arms, and arts took science in its wings to fly high in the cultural cosmos of Bengal and India in general. The process of this brilliant fusion of two cultures was pioneered by two colossus, Ravindranath Tagore, the genius and revolutionary in arts, experimenting at that time with a novel kind of poetry with his deepest and timeless philosophy soaked in the perception of our ancient scriptures, namely the Vedas and Upanishads, Isha Upanishad in particular. His genius drove him to paintings and to an entirely new dimension of drama. In his own words, he also tested the nectar of science. This is Tagore. He was just not a poet of a great height. The other colossus, of course, is Acharya Jagadish Chandra Bose, an unique genius in experimental science. He was a child of Bengal Renaissance, as well as the pole star of the great movement. Acharya traversed very large canvas of scientific discoveries, from radio waves to plants, as was mentioned. The central point I want to draw home at is that Rabindranath complimented Jagadish Chandra and Jagadish Chandra simply adored Rabindranath. They were the kind of kindred spirit of two cultures, eventually fusing the two cultures to the general ethos of a singular culture. Not surprisingly, Bengal flourished both in arts and science rising to the dizzy heights of abundant and glorious intellectual recognition across the world. It was not a coincidence. It was a direct result of the cultural milieu prevailing at that time. In that circumstances, both Rabindranath and Jagadish Chandra were determined, on the other hand, to prove to the world that they can be easily at par with the best of the world and they demonstrated brilliantly. The world they constructed together, one can't deny simply, has an epic flavor about it. It is quite evident that the letters they exchanged is well documented. The new culture they created opened the doors of a new culture he said, too unknown. This one-day conference is designed to explore the exquisitely manicured garden that lies beyond those doors, as I just mentioned. But this fusion of science and arts cannot just remain as dots of history, eventually to be sunk in the black hole of memory. The demon that ensures the divorce of arts from science is once again alive and kicking. Right now we're experiencing an unprecedented antipathy between science and arts. Those who practice science are not buddhijivis, and those who are buddhijivis don't care about science. It's a fact of life. The so-called intellectuals, of arts consider science as dangerous, if not right away vulgar, rather similar to the outrage of a Levis 
in Cambridge expressed after Lord Snow's lecture. All this mechanical gadgets bother me, you know. The philosophical thought process get deviated with all these mechanical gadgets, very fancy gadgets there. Are. There are indeed many dark horses of Levy's variety in our contemporary society. Just come, be quiet, huh? We have to thus lit a holy pyre to burn the demon that I talked about once again. We have to thus generate warmest possible empathy between science and arts. We have to thus stretch those two dots of history, Ramadanath and Jagadish Chandra, across time, time and space. We have to evolve the holistic culture of the Renaissance period to contemporary relevance. We have to ignite a new Renaissance of today, lighting up the hearts and minds of our children, of our citizens of tomorrow. We thus have to create a new world. We have to eradicate the last remnants of the darkness and let there be light. Let there be light, my light, the world, filling light, the eye kissing light, heart sweetening light, the light dancing at the center of my life, the light striking, my darling, the chords of life. This is Rabindranath. Rabindranath and Jagadish Chandra man is a finite, infinite being. He is our child, but heaven's heir. With time, man will grow even more self-centric. Heaven's heir will then rise to give us much needed peace, tranquility, and universal meaning of life ultimately leading to universal perception of reality. Shruti Brindo, Unobhinshu Shatabdi Sheshe, Banglai Navajagarane Shuru, Navajagarane Digante Di Ujjal Taraka, Agdike Rovindana Thakur, Unnojan Aachaj Jagadish Chandra Vashu. Agjan Asatharan Prasipapan Jagadvikhat Kobi, Arakjan Prithibi Unnotam Abhijjane, Jini Radio Abhishkar Kore, Paradhin Bharat Ke, Jagasabhar Ashane, Odhishthit Kore Chilen. Bhijjane Ro Sahitya Re Mail Bandhan, Eidharan Uchu Parjaya Khubatya Chokhe Parana. Aba Shai Mail Bandhan Re Peruna, Ebon Sishti Shakti Ruchas, Nabujagar Re Shakti, Nutun Krishti, Nutun Shabhatar, Nutun Shopan. आज के दिन की तो देखा जाता है, शेही मेल बंदों छुए छाई हो गई है। विज्ञान छुरे से निजे रास्ता है, और छाई तो छुरे से आपून रास्ता है। ये दूसरी रास्ता जरा पोषी, अधर मुद्दे बंधों, ऐसे बड़ी बंधों नहीं। नवजागरण ने शेही महाशक्ति आखुन बिलुप्त, सिस्टी शक्ति माप कटी, कुसाय जनों फरिएग ऐ शवार मूल उद्देश्य ही शेही मेल बंधन के खुजे बार कोड़ा किश्ती के मजबूत करे शाही तेर खुराक विज्ञान के देवे किचुटा और विज्ञाने शिमा ही इन शाही दर दिखे शिटा किचुटे मेरा भी शाही तो आशुन मेल बंधने का बार मुद्दन करे सिस्टी करो ऐ नोबिन नवजागरण ने आलोए शारा बांग्ला तथा भारत वर्ष के भाषी 